Hello, it's Taylor Silverduke, registered dietitian specializing in celiac disease, and today I want to talk about um, a question that I commonly get when it comes to dining out with celiac, which is, why risk dining out with celiac? I often hear people talk about how they feel like it's not worth it, why would anyone risk it unless it's a dedicated gluten-free restaurant, and I think it's important first to always respect someone's personal decision on what they will and won't do with celiac. You have no idea what's going on in their life, how celiac is showing up, what they need. However, I do want to talk about why some people, including myself as a fellow celiac of 10 plus years, might risk it and the things that you may want to consider when it comes to dining out and deciding if it's something that you want to do um, or deciding what kind of restaurants you'll go to whether that be dedicated gluten-free places or shared spaces all of that so let's talk about why risk it when dining out as a celiac this is me enjoying a delicious uh, meal out in um, Costa Rica so first I just want to acknowledge if you're someone who's really feeling like why risk it um, and you know I'm speaking on this and you're like why would you even feel like you can speak on this. First I've been living with celiac for over 10 years and I used to feel this way too especially in the first few years of my diagnosis. Um, I actually refused to dine out even um, like there weren't even really a lot of dedicated gluten-free restaurants around me um, so like I just didn't dine out and it stopped me for di from dining out for many many years which meant that I missed out on so many memories with loved ones because of this because I felt like it wasn't worth it and I just didn't want to do it. It was really scary it just didn't feel like it was worth it and it did honestly like it did keep me safe I didn't get gluten from restaurants during those years because I literally avoided it um, but I am bitter about that because of everything that I missed during all of those years um, and because I wasn't given the help that I needed when I was first diagnosed to be able to know that I could dine out and know how to do that as safely as possible so I want to acknowledge like I can totally see where people are coming from when they say why risk it or they decide like it's not worth it um, and also as someone who switched my perspective and flipped to the other side of deciding it is worth it I think there are a lot of things that uh, you might be missing out on um, that you may want to factor into your decision or when you're kind of considering like why risk it so I also want to acknowledge, you know, why risk it? There is a risk. There is a risk, period. Anytime you are not, I mean, actually, anytime food is involved, there's a risk. But that risk does grow when you are not the person who is preparing your food. There is a risk that you will get sick when a stranger is preparing your food in a shared kitchen. And it is possible that you can get safe food if you speak up for your needs at restaurants. I'm not saying like it's a 100% chance that it's always going to be safe, but that there is a chance, especially if you know how to reduce the risks. So yeah, there is a risk and it's all about minimizing that risk. So why risk it when dining out with celiac? Again, it's a valid question. Only you get to decide if it's worth it, and I really want to empower you to decide that, and I believe that your choice should be respected. That said, when I used to avoid dining out because I didn't think it was worth it, there were a few things that I was not considering that I now really want to encourage people to consider now, like what other aspects of my health are being impacted by me avoiding restaurants. For me, it was my mental and emotional health that took a very big hit. Um, mentally and emotionally, I felt more socially isolated. I felt like I wasn't able to participate in everyday life. I felt like I just wasn't able to connect with my friends and family at the same level that other people were. I felt like I was, you know, I guess this plays into social isolation, but I felt left out. Um, and emotionally, like, there's just Dining out does something, even when it carries so much more work and risk as a celiac. It's just different when you go to dine out and celebrate a graduation at your favorite restaurant. It just hits different. And so there were definitely parts of my health that were being impacted that I was not considering when I was making that decision to just avoid it, uh, only considering my physical health in that decision. Um, other things that uh, I 
didn't consider were what skills and knowledge did I need to make it possible. I didn't even consider the fact that there were things I could do to potentially make it possible. There were skills that I could build. There were things that I could learn that could help me be able to stay safe when or safer when I went to restaurants. So those are some of the things I didn't consider. Yes, I was supporting and prioritizing my physical health, but it was at the expense of memories and social health and emotional health. And so that's something that I think could be something to consider if you are trying to decide is it worth it or not. Um, and I also understand on the other side of that coin, some people might feel like emotionally and mentally it's just too taxing and you don't get enough benefit to offset those taxes, then maybe you feel like it's just not worth it. It's totally up to you, but for me, it just wasn't. And those are the things that I was ignoring and, t and, and that I definitely wish I had considered previously. And I also want to kind of just remind everyone that just because something is a risk doesn't mean that the risk can't be managed. So with celiac disease, yes, having a stranger prepare your food is always going to be a risk. Um, even just having anyone else prepare your food will be a risk. That does not mean that that risk can't be managed. When it comes to managing celiac disease and staying celiac safe and avoiding gluten and cross contact, there is never going to be zero risk in a gluten-centered culture and a gluten centered food system. All we are doing is taking steps to manage that risk as best as we can so we can stay as safe as possible. This also applies to dining out. We are doing our best if we do decide to dine out to manage that risk. Um, but just because there is a risk doesn't mean that that risk cannot be managed. It just means we have to be on more of our game. So all of that said, if you decide that dining out is worth it, and you want to learn how to manage the risks of dining out while gluten-free, I'll teach you how to do just that and minimize the risks of gluten exposure at restaurants in four simple steps. Plus, I'll give you scripts and examples to make it as simple as possible in my gluten-free dining course. So this is my self-paced dietitian and celiac-made course designed to help you learn how to dine out in four simple steps so that you have four points where you can uh, bail or decide it that the risks are able to be managed and move forward. So that's four chances for you to be like, mm, something's not right, I'm going to leave, but also four chances for you to really make sure this is going to be a safe option for you, that you can really help reduce and manage those risks. So if you are considering this course, um, it's four modules covering the four steps to minimize the risks when dining out in detail, plus simulation and practice to get you confident. You'll also get a bonus 60 plus page restaurant dining guide with cheat sheets for common chains in the USA, scripts and more to make dining out here simple, including cross contact for to ask for when you're at these restaurants or at different cuisine types. You'll also get a bonus guide to ordering safe gluten-free drinks at bars because that is a completely separate skill and conversation. You'll also get a bonus um, how to get gluten-free food delivered to your home. So if you want to DoorDash or Grubhub, this is how you can make sure that that food is being delivered. Um, those risks are being managed in that scenario. And also how to know if you were glutened um, because that's something that often people are really confused about when they're dining out. And there's a lot that you have to consider when you're dining out so you're able to figure out like what happened and why are you sick? Um, I've got that guide there too that'll help explain a lot of that as well. So if this is something you're interested in, I'll leave a link for you to learn more and sign up in the description box. Um, but other than that, I hope that this was able to help you decide if dining out with celiac disease is worth it or not, if it's something that you want to start dipping your toes into. Um, and I'm curious, let me know down below, why do you feel like it is or isn't worth the risk? Um, curious to hear your thoughts. And all of that said, my name is Taylor Silverduke, registered dietitian specializing in celiac, and I will see you when I see you.